Google is a pioneer in many aspects of technology, and now they're building human skin, uh, but pr probably not for the reasons you might be suspecting right away. It is actually to help uh, detect health anomalies, actually even cancer, but it works in kind of an interesting way. Yeah, this is a really interesting project that Google X Labs has going on. And Google X Labs has all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but this particular project is, it's a wristband, so it's a wearable that you would put on, and then you would take a pill that has nanoparticles in them. And the nanoparticles are very specifically designed to only attach themselves to a certain type of cell. So for example, a cancer cell. So once those nanoparticles attach themselves to cancer cells, what Google is trying to do is they're trying to figure out a way to have this wristband read the light emitted from those cells mm -hmm. and then say, oh, hey, there's something wrong. So you need to make something work. Um, and we have, there's a little bit of video, I think, that you guys have yeah. um, that helps. You guys can see it. But the, the, so to make this wristband work, they actually have, they have to make synthetic human skin to test it to make sure that it can see that light emitted from cells through, through your skin and to the wristband. Well, let's see exactly how it works. So you have arms, and this is how you diagnose breast cancer. What these arms are is the model systems in which we're trying to detect small particles that flow through the arm. So imagine that you swallow a pill, and that pill has small things called nanoparticles in it. Nanoparticles are very tiny particles, about 2,000 of them can fit inside a red blood cell, but they're decorated on their surface with markers that attach to cancer cells. We then have them circulate through your whole body looking for those cells, and we collect them in the superficial vasculature of the arm with a magnet, and you ask them what they saw. And you would basically wear this like a Fitbit, and you would take a pill maybe twice a month, that would make your red blood cells light up. Hopefully it would make only the cancer cells light up. So that was Dr. Andrew Conrad, who was mm -hmm. working uh, at Google X on this project, and probably many others. So this is one of the most recent uh, great innovations in uh, biotech, but also in uh, medical technology. I, I was trying to think of the word, so medical technology. Uh, though some people may actually find this to be a little bit, uh, a little bit threatening, a little bit scary. Is it, which one is more scary though, to have the cancer cells or to have the I, I think that's the question, which is, you know, do you, yes, you would take these pills twice a month and have this wristband hypothetically constantly monitoring you mm -hmm. um, for anything weird. And they were saying they could even detect like impending heart attacks and, you know, just different things based on, you know, what you would want to be looking for. So say you have like your family has a history of heart disease and early heart attacks. It's sensing take... for irregularities, correct? Right, right. So is that, uh, it's, it's very new. Is right. it too intrusive? I like for me it's again it's the question of is it is it are people willing to give up a little bit of you know that sort of constant monitoring of their health for the kind of peace of mind that you might catch something quite a bit earlier than you mm -hmm. would otherwise like I for me it's like I think these are the kinds of choices people and humanity in general is going to have to start making now that we're kind of hitting this nanoparticles like we're starting to really get into super interesting medical breakthroughs, but it's also a little bit frightening for people because this is something we've never had to deal with before in mm -hmm. the history of medicine. And so uh, I think a lot of people are gonna have, you know, those choices to make, but at the end of the day, I mean, me personally, yeah. I mean, I, of course, I'd this. much rather know than not know and then find out too late. So that's, that's my opinion. There's also, we're also entering an age where up until now, modern medicine has been reactive. Like, oh, my arm hurts, I'll go to the doctor. This is, would be more uh, preempting whatever issues may arise. Yeah. Uh, but beyond that, I can see how it would be very scary to have, to swallow this pill and have your body uh, monitored by all of these sensors. Right. Honestly, I don't know what I would do at this point. I mean, I think if you, I think that there are ways to make things private. I mean, our, our medical records are protected legally. Mm -hmm. And I think that this type of data would probably fall under the same, uh, same umbrella. So yeah. I would imagine that that app data is not something that is going to be shared with third parties. You know, they're not going to sell it to Facebook to try to sell you some oh, medications. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're not going to have any of these like issues because I have a feeling that you know, if if not soon, um, at some point there will have to be changes in legislation mm -hmm. to cover digital data uh, the, of your health records, which 
we already do with computers. We have yeah, everything but on, on legislation computer. is a little bit. It's a lot slower than technology moves. That's true. So we have that to worry about. That is true. So it's always important to make sure to protect your data privacy at the very least. But if there were a proactive way to monitor your own health, would you want to do it? Would you swallow that pill and wear the device? Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.